everyone to another hopefully fun Linux live stream here in case we are live. And welcome to this channel, our regular low level Linux hardware and other fun stuff. And today, you guessed it probably already from the title, we have as usual some Linux stuff to do and not only some boring updates, which of course each day we have many. Also the other day even open SSH here from our uh, recurring nightly tracker. Also we have this data bot now that is doing some updates that I already refined and will refine even more. But some stuff of course we still actually I slightly wonder why. Okay, but actually this was something probably data could have done. But anyway, we also have some more stuff, people on the mailing list ask here so not that some stuff doesn't build and of course some stuff you have already seen here live on this channel that it also doesn't build for me. It's Gazi John says so I allowed the data to update GMP or something of that sort the other day which is let me just double check here our uh, scene and why do I have you okay this is a browser stuff here anyway. Um, yeah so I allowed data to update GMP or something and I, the moment right now this is not yet 100% fully automated because I still need to enter data's password for now. But GMP dependency of GCC already saw yeah, maybe this fails because the other thing MPFA or something failed already. And uh, of sure enough of course this um, Cost and regression doesn't build anymore. I didn't test or data didn't test this. Also, yeah, previous live streams here, Risk Five stuff. So I added a bunch of uh, new FTDI dependencies here, libraries and ECP, next PNR, FPGA stuff. Uh, fun fact: If you're new to this in the other channel, so this is a more live channel, and uh, I also have Risk Five. So this is already proof of concept. Also, right now, mostly gathering all the knowledge, how the command line arguments, uh, stuff. So uh, already working risk five here on this nice, I always forget the name, um, ULX3S or something, uh, somewhere it was also printed, but as usual when you're looking for it, then you don't find it instantly. Anyway, other channel. Nah. And um, yeah, so this allows us this many more logic cells as a channel. Um, Pico Risk Five with hardware, well, hardware as in FPGA logic elements hardware, divide and multiply 3000 slices. They call this there the ECP five fame. Anyway, next video is coming there. So a couple of stuff also here, project trailers there. Edit, boost updated. Right now I'm looking for data, so data should be here somewhere. CMake, CFlow, GDB, oh, this was myself, MP, okay fine, MPF error, GM, MP something, uh, can't make this. Uh, okay, it is in the email so MPC, yeah, so close, MPC. Why is NPC not there? Where is it then? Oh, science now. Wonderful. And one of those packages, and also to document here all the pain, all the regression, all the unnecessary incompatible changes, one of those I already reverted. So NPC here. Actually, what are they writing there? So SCSI John writes NPC and BFR. So SCSI John writes with so MPF. Are being updated. MPC should have also been updated. Hmm. Okay, so what this is are those fun uh, libraries of yeah past decade already not a 2020 thing, but yeah this was 306 to 402, and one of those things I already downgraded. So they say MPC. I already was sure this was this will cause some regression, but the more you test. SRM MPC mm, doesn't download fun stuff. Okay, fine. This is also why it's not 
updated then if it doesn't also yeah why you should have your website and package so that the urls don't constantly change mpc this was so multi precision stuff what is now the latest version is one 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 and okay this is linked from that we should definitely make it so that the nightly tracker and data can automatically do this because we sure want to do more interesting stuff again like FPGAs and microkernels check version URL so yeah sure enough now this find something this is amazing and then of course this is not enough um, because yeah, this doesn't even download why not so tar g set tar g set uh, um, okay this change to gnu org fun stuff yeah if you were wondering why our amazing outstanding automate stuff doesn't auto download it's also yeah this could be perfected also without the check version ul thing certainly not but yeah um as you see when you run this kind of stuff, a company open source project, it's best to multitask because now we will spend some time here to test build this. So most likely we will just wipe here some build of x86, all of this stuff. So this is another system that we I have here on the ThinkPad, my portable SSD. I have here on... Um, on the data center and on the horizon so we right now have here three sets of data and yeah running a distribution uh, unsuccessful one man or so not <coughs> recurring joke of what other distribution people call us and yeah how much time all this stuff takes and then my customers like yeah we don't pay you for this stuff because it needs to just work thank you for that mates probably don't call you my customers anymore and so with this Test building this even on the to rise here on the horizon. This will take some time. So this x86 we have deleted. Um, very theoretically, I'm actually wondering. There is one more package of those, either is it MPC or GMP. One of those I already reverted um, because it didn't build. And what killed why? Don't, why was this killed? Don't tell me we have here some. What is this even? Unable to handle page for that address. Supervisor read access in kernel mode. Yeah, so <clears throat> quite some of those. So much to the monolithic kernel. I really wonder why we sometimes. So with the old Ryzen, I never had this, and hmm, this is now somewhat inconvenient. 5 to 11. Hmm. Hope this doesn't cause too many more problems. So yeah, one address space, amazing achievement there, monolithic stuff. Why is this so? Hmm. This is not the most amazing because I'm not sitting next to it actually. So much to remote management, lights off management. Welcome everyone then in the audience. Um, Christian, sorry for completely out there, but you tried download prerequisites of GCC scripts for well, usually works We're having problems getting the correct version. Um, that's an interesting uh, note. However, certainly we want to have this packaged here. So, I mean, this is, it was working. It's just, you update this. You do not always expect that the stuff is always breaking left and right. So, yeah. Um, only hope we didn't remotely Kill this here though, that would be quite a fail though. I hope this is only so. Yeah, this hard drives in there are not the most amazing. This would be now really super annoying fail here on this channel. Um, so, this is the data center Xeon there, was also not the most amazing IO subsystem. So, the thing is not the, um, this example script there, but we need to update it anyway and um, it's always not the most obvious whether this will just work or not this is mean really 
a little bit off that we have here. This is not super annoying. So yeah, otherwise this is why we have this data for also this. Mm, why is this? Or maybe the data did this already. This update copy and pasted here from the email stuff. Um, there's quite some more stuff including Wayland which probably might not even build because nah, whatever. Wait a second, they have here 118 and uh, hmm. Hmm. here is um, Detart's favorite terminal multiplexer. Um, so this is really now a little bit, I mean, we have here some echo from this is now, hmm. Yeah, so this is running consumer grade stuff remotely and then you can't power cycle it. Didn't really expect that now. Um, yeah, always something you live stream it and then some shit happens. Why? The FTDI, the nightly tracker identified it and then it doesn't download. Hmm. FTDI, why would this not download? Or why is this here some files Python hosted? Um, okay, thank you very much. Hmm. Okay, maybe we'll do this later. I probably, anyway, so this is. Hmm. Not the most convenient, or really. I mean, we have some other machines like the data center and the ThinkPad, but yeah, this is of course of server grade hardware of Sun stuff or PHP, not updated in quite some time. And yeah, this is why we have some whatnot for that PHP. Who is probably I should have just run the data. This is of course the stuff we invented data for. But just to show you how many updates this are each day and then probably this blue is probably a nice excuse to cause a new Bluetooth regression because right now it even works. It was UDEF related, so yeah, you update UDEF, stuff doesn't work, you update blues, stuff will for sure not work. And um, so Pi Cairo, that is not a useful updates and project. Yeah, as I mentioned with this versions, three, six, something, not sure if that is a stable update or not. This is what I meant, the other stream with this Python to have just some encoding on this versions because this is something that we can't know automatically. I wish people would stick to more standards. Yeah, Bison here, or Bison. The next thing. Now this would be really a fail now if I would hang or the Linux kernel would hang. Hey, we also have pulls audio, but that is a 99 version. And actually let's do some more stuff. Um, yeah, I so quite a bit of a fail. Maybe I should have instantly rebooted this when the first error creeped in there. I mean, it's not completely dead, but there, is, there you see why do I freaking talk about doing my own microkernels. That is exactly why I'm really so tired of regressions and stuff like that. So can we SSH a second? So let's ping. It still does. Secure shell. Oh, we get a prompt. And we can log in. Um, so this is a second log into the same machine. Um, yeah. Hmm. So the issue is I don't really want to think. I mean, this is hilarious now. I mean, uh, probably. Should we, by the way, touch A, touch, I mean, probably this must be, I mean, this hard drives are also really, um, this shingled recording stuff is really 
laggy. Probably I just hope that this reboots because or probably hope for the best, I guess. Let's hope it comes back. That would be really a fail if it doesn't. Um, yeah, leave in the comments below what you think about this modern stuff. Um, as long as I had, so this is the Ryzen build, and I didn't have any of this problem. So this is the same logic board I was using for a year with the Ryzen 2700. And this also... Um, didn't always occur so i saw this like once or twice with this portable ssd attached so yeah the the fun of modern hardware let's in the meantime copy and paste here also linux update yay 554 in case we didn't update that oh, also best with type okay so we did this already I five four yeah that's what I, not what I said and yeah if you're wondering exactly what we want the data for just that it didn't fully put it automation I still need to do some tiny small things to data before we put this into um, operation some safeguards or yeah some some odd version numbering thing. Also yeah all does it there you see the the issue with odd and even numbers. Um, probably I also wanted to do this. I s looked into this already. So we best should probably best flex those automatically. Like now using the data we have and use it also for the nightly tracker already. So that we do not even, that the, the emails we get match what data would do if if it would be fully automated, so GNOME Terminal. Hmm. So yeah, system going down for reboot, but this is also, is it also coming back? That is the question. Maybe I should have, okay, this VTE is a 5991 version that of course is, I think OpenSSH we just did. So yeah, actually I wanted to have this compiling already just that as you see, that was a bit of a fail, but this is also the problem with live streaming. Um, you do something and then something fails. Recurring theme here, which also zero drop prints or something. Even focused. Hmm. Um, also, should probably not have closed this other terminal. Rebooting, what a fail. So now I rebooted a server that I'm not sitting next to and it doesn't come up again. So thank you for that. <clears throat> I wonder, so that is a problem if you don't have advanced light outs management like on professional server machines. This, this was now entirely unexpected. Can give it an Ethernet magic packet, but I don't think it's shut down. It's probably. Yeah. 
Yep, that sucks. Um, so, comment on the audience crazy. What so did try to say? MS, you will think Carlos is crazy, but he stayed one week on MS DOS. What? Today is the third day, but he already gave up. Um, yep. So, do we get some ping out of this machine? No, so, yeah, this is not really... Mm, shit. Now that was a short fail of a live stream. And now I have some machine stuck in some reboot loop. Uh, actually, I have data running here. I forgot that I started data. Okay, now this is not entirely not what I wanted to do. Um, the question, so the server, this is not really, really annoying. It, I saw it once stuck in the BIOS post with memory initialization, but this only happened once in 100 times. But maybe most likely, maybe I should not have shut down it like cleanly as it was already stuck in something. Maybe I should have like magic system request reboot, maybe the most likely this Linux is now stuck. As yeah, there you see, monolithic kernel can't even make this up. Um, yeah, most likely it's stuck in shutting down. Um, as it's not coming back, I'm not really sure if that will recover by itself, but yeah. The one thing I could probably have done better is again, magic system request instant reboot. Um, but yeah, single dress base, uh, one stuff clobbers each other, fun stuff. That means that we need to use, I, so yeah, we don't have the, the joy of that fast Ryzen, which is no really annoying for me, obviously for so many reasons. Um, and the slow Xeon here, that is super annoying. Probably we can, yeah, that is so much slower. Mm. And yeah, I'm, I'm really tempted. This is also why we try to build this channel up. R writing the microkernel where this kind of stuff should like not happen. And yeah, 2020, <laughs> you reboot your Linux and it's not rebooting or it has this stupid fail to start with, which in my opinion is also yeah, kind of not acceptable. But yeah, modern Linux, monolithic kernel, modern hardware, fun, fun stuff with it. It's only, only fun stuff as long as it works and as soon as there is some modern glitch then yeah, of yeah, this kind of... Um, really wonder what that is though. Also froze ify. So this ify runtime service, this is somehow, but why is this even ify recover from page fold? What the heck? Was this somehow in the ify runtime or what? By firmware, wait a second, this is page firmware bug, page fold caused by firmware? What the heck? Are you freaking kidding me? Okay, then it takes us partially back. So then like 2020 and if you firmware is page faulting a kernel if why you don't want complex stuff in your kernel actually. Mm. Yeah, probably here. Yeah. And why we always said we don't want complex stuff running in our system, right? One more data point for that story. Speaking of, so just some stuff we don't want to rebuild, rebuild the rest of it. And so GMP of what we've just done before we kill the server is, how many drop frames do we have by the way? Zero. Welcome Glock. Glockos, hope you're doing better than us with just some remote machine killed by iffy runtime services. This 
So GMP, MPFR, also here we just did this, so we just need to do it again after we lost our server. That was this one. So that is GMP, MPFR, so RGMP probably. So let's see if all this fun stuff fits together. That is MPC. And this is one, one, one. Of course, this will not load as we just learned. Um, so this is download from GNU as we did it already. Oops. So this is what we just did on the other machine before it crashed. <clears throat> so MPC um, and then GMP, this is what I reverted earlier already. And then I'm curious, so is it or, oh no, it isn't. So many dependencies, I really lose the overview. Reverted, oh, this is super old, geez, so. Hmm. Mason. ISL, ah, maybe it was ISL, but this is also, ah, maybe it was ISL then. Not compatible with GCC, okay, fine. So the question is, also here, this is actually kind of expected, maybe. Not that we need it the most, okay, let me just leave it like this. So, yeah, also live on this channel, ISL also incompatible. Um, Glaucus writes uh, 6 to 1 with a GMP or 6 to 1. Yeah, we had that. I'm mostly curious if this will build. Uh, also, this didn't download something. Nah. Okay, whatever. All of this stuff is not vital, it's just building stuff. It wasn't test built here previously on this server. And the other question is more, so MPC, the question is more probably for that. Also some UDF patch fails. I think maybe I started to actually upgrade this. Yeah, I started to upgrade this to some systemd archive thing. Um, so this is doing its thing, probably we can control, or maybe we do this in the, <coughs> the reference 64 bit. <coughs> Sorry. So let's delete all of those. Um, Yeah, the problem is, of course, even the non-mini ITX, more professional, what I really hate the development in the PC world that everything is gaming. I don't need all this garbage gaming plastic deco stuff. What I actually would want from even a more expensive X570, you don't get any remote 
maintenance features proper. So I would much rather have some remote control feature stuff than all this gaming plastic and decoration garbage and fancy graphical AFI bio stuff that helps me a little if it kernel panics you. Kernel Larry stuff. Um, So logs and let's manually delete this here, GMP, then we had MPFR probably, GCC, or should we, you know what, maybe we, I mean the only problem is for right now we broke UDIF, you know what, maybe we start with a fresh Okay, no fresh build takes so long. Did we delete, delete GCC? No, not fully. Okay, let's try this. It, it cuts down the build time quite a lot, just doing this selectively. Was this all MPC, GMP? Um, yeah. Stupid RGB, let's see, as a so stupid LED, let helps me a little now to reboot this machine. Um, do you exercise and take care of your health like any professional nerd? Yeah, exactly, like any professional nerd. <coughs> totally <coughs> not just a regular, normal, healthy, living, walking stuff. Um, Christian, it's impossible to even get a decent case. Here's also the problem all the gaming deco stuff that looks ugly as shit. Also the tempered glass one, one of the more um, more useful and this super decade old, was it Silverstone Sugu 05 thing that I use otherwise is small. Um, the small rectangular boxes stuff that we use otherwise. Carlos writes, Asus Aura Zinc doesn't need to exist. Yeah, really, and this is really hilarious. This blinking garbage stuff of only cost you money, helps you a little. Anyway, so GMP, so this GMP, we updated what was even the email content. The email content was um, also open SSH, we updated, not yet committed, but also, ah, right, we need to actually do this here. So, pi something, copy. This is the next thing that I want to improve is for data to use a full URL right now for historic reasons this simple update tracking stuff is using just uh, the version number but of course when it's already scanning here the full file names it gets a full file so there is no reason updating the whole of that shouldn't also work. That was what was it even? Yeah, as you see, next thing I have let this data thing already run here. Um, two improvements. So this, is, this is one. So two improvements pending. First of all, um, encoding here the known odd versions that are stable because right now it's a little bit uh, roulette here, Russian roulette weather. Well, data will actually. I did already. Um, I implemented tracking some other versions, but it's. We still would want to encode. Um, although I think probably right now with my. So what, what I did is I I implemented already. Um, this to by the way data probably is running here somewhere. Oh, like here. Okay, data did found nothing here on this. I implemented already. Um, checking for some odd versions. Why is this taking so long now? Um, always something with the internet, yeah, and then people ask me why I'm not confident with streaming stuff, like games, like here, yeah, can't even do my server stuff uh, reliable on the internet. One lesson learned, if your system is already partially uh, panicked, 
then where is even did I close this or what? Um, if I let secure shell again, can never have too many of those. And yeah, if the system is already partially partially panicked, then probably don't try to sh reboot it controlled. Yeah, so it's stuck somewhere. Thank you very much for that amazing new hardware. Um, then magic system request reboots this instantly. So what have we built? We have built MPFR and we have built so GMP 6200 MPFR. What of those have we updated? Let's see. As also this is a data center where we have this hundreds of actually quite some lingering around MPC. Did we do this already? MPFR. Did we even delete this? And GMP oh, didn't delete that. Huh? Build reference. Okay, maybe stop this here. Clear. This performance also highly fragmented and, and whatnot. The I/O performance on this aging server not amazing. It's also how I wanted to use the Ryzen or ADM MPC. Did we? Oh no, this is. Hmm, is GCC not using MPC? Let's skip over this GCC. It started to build anyway. Let's continue with some more interesting stuff. So we had this built already. I manually rebuilt this to test this updates. And okay, boost. So even there on the other build, aging Xeon whatsoever. Um, February 17th, it's probably today, G mine. Super slow though, really slow, unusable slow. Probably we should not write this. Or maybe I should also, I probably I should migrate to a new data center thing. This is really getting too slow. Maybe I should just reinstall this, um, whatever better FSIO pattern thing this might be. Also, yeah, okay, probably boost is hammering this also one of the larger packages. Let's cancel that. Let's temp if as yeah, this is a thing on the data center, virtualized IO on an aging better FS. Yeah, super slow. Which way I was. Wanted wanted to use Horizon. Um Carlos writes, uh, Brazil water sucks. If you don't have water purifier, you can feel a bad taste. Yeah, I've been in Brazil. I've been in Sao Paulo and Brasilia two times for business. Um, did I probably didn't drink the water, I guess, but yeah, tap water in the most areas of the world. Certainly in Germany, we are lucky that the tap water is pretty amazing most of the time. That is, but this also um, actually I probably cleaned up. Don't need to clean up too. It's also a recurring shout out. You can do something about this. A vote for the better politicians, not like some corrupt asses, and uh, also do something personally. Not only blame politicians, but certainly politicians often to blame. But otherwise, uh, recycle, sort the stuff, uh, avoid plastic waste and toxic stuff, and don't throw a litter in, into the environment and stuff. So it's not only the politicians and big companies, although they certainly more than 52% to blame, but otherwise each and everyone can do their small little fair share. Okay, we cleaned that. Let's continue the builds with tempfs. But yeah, um, Although things in, in, in Germany are not always amazing, even we get start to get some problems, so global warming and environmental challenges, climate challenges, certainly don't stop um, at German borders. And 
or other European borders here and even in Germany uh, farmers apparently buy like shit from other surrounding companies like literally shit of, of animal shit and um, put it on the fields there and so even in Germany we have the problem that we have too much nitrite or nitrate or something whatever that is in English if it maybe translates directly to English maybe not so yeah also um, greedy farmers even in Germany putting too much shit from surrounding people um, on the fields and causing um, not amazing levels of chemicals in the groundwater so yeah uh, so Christian says managed to build 1080 packages out of something on a junk machine built from crap found on boxes what are you talking about packages is this open embedded or something of that sort um, or t2 so gmp is what is one of those that we just updated also did we oh, this we probably test build according to this log in email let's see what else we have here uh, blues did we test build this already apparently we test built it blues probably i should really have this is a, just a small update Probably I will complain another day what this broke on this ThinkPad. <clears throat> I also need to finish probably, oh did we not yet update this Linux? Probably we can just update this. And GMP building there. So yeah, this is why you want some really powerful build server. We also have some, I don't know, Bison we touched there. Hmm. What else do we have here? So some of the stuff is just, oh, why did I, what is this ISL? Why did I apparently locally update this and probably, so yeah, low level libraries and the latest version doesn't work with GCC or something. Why do I have some Linux file systems slow and fragmented because lingering stuff here around, including Quake 3 or what? So yeah, not really the result I was hoping for, I actually wanted to. Um, I wanted to build on the Ryzen much more stuff, but with those machine, with this machine stuck there on reboot and shut down with amazing firmware cores. Yeah, what what a fail. Um, yeah, oops, can't make this stuff up your life on this channel. And um, there, yeah. so much good stuff we have given AMD Ryzen and then the wait a second and so maybe this can't even shut down i mean now this i mean the problem is i saw this panic similar panic caused by maybe the amd gpu stuff had i looked here more precisely but the thing is always even if not only blaming the youtube live stream of, of course doing something quickly in the youtube live stream always an additional point of failure but maybe even locally without youtube live stream i might have just shut down um I wonder if Linux can reboot with this runtime services shutdown. I mean, what a stupid fail, really. This is hilarious. And also something, so this is not something I've not seen. What I've seen before was some double, actually previously I've seen supervisor read access in kernel mode, um, but I don't remember seeing this firmware, or maybe I did, just didn't look closely enough the last time where is the first occurrence of firmware so what is this even yeah we will have fun writing only i mean i'm not sure if the last time i have seen firmware bug and where is then if services Recover from page fold. Hmm. So yeah, I wonder if Linux 
still would have had the ability, even if I would have shut down differently, using some I.O. port write um, to whatever keyboard controller or whatever was, some low-level reset. Now this is really hilarious. So much to that. So how we are here. Okay, boost is of course compiling forever. And PFR. So yeah, maybe we actually can stop the live stream here already because this is not exactly the result I was hoping for so much to always some random stuff here just on this channel. Um, our bootstrapping is on branch of Debian 4 SH3. Probably you want to do this with T2 though, shameless plug. And um, Yeah, can relate with some more performance. This Debian stuff probably is compiling, um, native compiling locally, right? I would much prefer, um, much prefer cross compiling on, on decent boxes for the reason. But uh, what super, what is super H hardware? Is it some proper embedded board or if you, if I could, I do it. You way don't have the experience yet. Yeah, maybe try T2, maybe in parallel just for the fun of it. And um, yeah, patches for this architecture, uh, sure, just send them over. Um, oh, now we have finished MPFR, and so did we even. What is with the MPC that we updated? ADM logs. Wait a second here, MPC. Did we did I not delete this here? Apparently not. Uh, I wonder if maybe let's Delete the ISL stuff also doing maximum testing. I also wonder why those people not work together if it's used in GCC, why they do not work in such a way that the stuff is more tested. So we have MPC, MPFR, what are the other? Yeah, and boost is still compiling. This is why I call this even in tempf as now um, aging into Xeon stuff. Secure mitigations and fun stuff. Um, I used SVGLib for something, but it was like 20 years ago, not really used this in, in decades. Um, sure, feel free to play with this already. I will next um, here live, or live or not live on this channel, I've already changed this here. So I have all the tools of Yours next PNR, uh, some flashing tools. Um, I did some Hello World, and so yeah, Risk Five here on this, and then our own improving our VGA core to support full VGA modes. And then let's see. Um, also, we need to do quite some enablement. Of the Risk Five example is not using the SDRAM, so we need to. Even though, of course, right now is only bootstrapping this FPGA stuff, and happy that took a little bit longer. We, at the icebreaker, it, everything was a little bit more readily prepared. And with this board, it took me a little bit longer to get all the stuff together. The first Hello World stuff, whereas even uh, ULX3, I wonder where the name came from though. Um, so yeah, in this tutorial, I didn't find SDRAM directly. So we next also need to do some um, SDRAM enablement or finding an example and combining all this stuff and sourcing and combining this differential HDMI transmitter stuff for this general purpose differential interfacing here, combining it with our VGA core and um, also need to check how we use the embedded SDRAM on this one or not SDRAM, the embedded block RAM on the FPGA, how much this is um, and how we use it. Maybe we 
maybe on this one we mostly use embedded embedded RAM for the graphic and the SD RAM for the Risk Five most likely. It would make quite a nice system to play along at home. Um, so Commons have friend tells university they're recommending some courses to play with FPGAs. Yeah, certainly totally fun stuff. Also MPC stuff, uh, musical patch of yeah, probably can maybe I well certainly we can hope it's there. The best thing there you see also how much you can test always not having a okay, we can cut this first. So, yeah, just adding this there of yeah. Let's hope it's fully in there or something. But yeah, you can never test enough and even this testing, especially when you explain some steps in between takes forever, especially when your Ryzen dives with, dies with uh, Wayland, of course, that XML2, what? XML2 not around. Let's see what else we have there to commit to MPC. Apparently that builds relatively quickly, surprisingly, and how can this build so fast? That doesn't look like a big package. We can actually double check ISL. So that is 122 is 122 one. I wonder, so the last time I did this, I've reverted this once already. I wonder if in the meantime, GCC added support for this. I also slightly wonder if we could actually check in the reference build here. Dependencies, ISL, who, what is using ISL? Maybe, I don't know, some packages, but some of the stuff doesn't make sense. The crash and stuff is using that, or maybe indirectly from, maybe everything is indirectly using this from GCC, maybe? If, as it's linked as are the indirect dependencies. I wonder if we should maybe, yeah, all automated dependencies, we certainly also some room for improvements to filter out indirect dependencies to have to only store direct ones like GCC and not the shared library set if you switch because right now the automatic dependencies include then um, like ISL and MPC and stuff just because it's shared libraries used by as a GCC binary it would certainly make sense to make this even better um, not only if, as an example here ISL this cache dependencies so to fill to only have first level dependencies um so most likely removing isl and uh, isl is not even in here because it's old or something and then gcc not even gcc but like cc or something because this is on configure option um yeah something like that or um even something of, of, of that sort, whatever. I mean, certainly this is compactor and something because then it wouldn't hard code a GCC. So this would be um, like like libc and clibc or uh, something, just not to have this hard code glibc and GCC binaries. Also, yeah, this is an old file. I mean, nowadays it would be set standard, but even that is imperfect. Um, set standard only because T2 is using it to create the archive. It's it's just, I mean, it's it's like, imperfect in as in encoding too much so just probably filtering a little bit away would probably actually improve this so sometimes having it imperfect um, could actually um, be better like reducing some some stuff and filtering it and stuff so yeah um christian gladly play with t2 basically just want something to run on this old junk handheld oh this handheld you said oh okay cool stuff I mentioned already a friend of mine has a Dreamcast with Super H, so this T2 stuff, decades ago this T2 stuff was test booted on the Dreamcast of all Super H stuff and um, yeah, PHP also not, um, actually this is probably some automated stuff, yeah, so there you see why I turned to YouTube, nobody wants to finance this stuff, not making this stuff up, even customers I had a decade ago. Um, that I even commented on previous videos how not to make your money with open source. Nobody is paying for this. Um, I tried to find embedded customers and basically everyone's like, yeah, why should we pay for this if we can use something for free from the internet? And when you say, yeah, some people also like, like our T2 works for us and thanks mate, but 
yeah, we don't pay for monthly maintenance because hey, this is your job to have it working. So basically, the chicken egg problem totally bizarre, and why I not only over the last decade increasingly became frustrated. And I hope you like the concept of having this YouTube views finances. This allows me not only to more comfortable do this, but on a much larger scale again, also $3 a day plus your Patreon stuff and super chat donations occasionally, super amazing. And um, also do this fun stuff because certainly risk five, but the problem is even with this risk five, you do the state of the art risk five stuff. And even that you have a hard time selling to people because yeah, it needs to just work and people take something for free anyway. So if we do this for fun, learn something and um, so on, then at least um, this is YouTube where we have your education and our fun project and uh, this new means of totally creative means to finance this. Uh, we also have one more thing. So project build, I wonder slightly. Okay, we had already there. You see this uneven or not uneven. I really wonder if this is stable or not. Um, and again, soon we should really encode this. Did I ah, here? This was T2 packages um, project. Don't even quite remember. Uh, cartographic projection library, amazing stuff. I slightly wonder then if this is stable. So that is a problem of that you would need to investigate here now. Yeah, it doesn't immediately look unstable. So this is probably one of those packages that should be marked. Um, check version. Odd okay. Uh, what I actually probably previously didn't mention, so I already improved this C source that I probably also want to rewrite. Also, yeah, probably I don't rewrite the C as of previous stuff here, this previous video creating this data. I'm probably not rewriting this sometime soon, maybe in six months or so, probably in Lua, a mix of Shell and Lua or something. It's certainly much more amazing for this kind of AI scripted stuff. But um, never change a running system, right? And of course, just in this moment, GCC fails. So right now it's working quite well. And what I did already, I changed this to, because I noticed some packages have only min major and minor, like one and stuff. And those packages usually have odd numbers um, being stable releases. So I changed this already to only like GNOME style of 234 for something to have here the major minor patch level so only have this packages so it requires like major minor patch level two for this odd even number so this already uh, quite some improvement but doesn't scale to everything as you see uh, certainly so some encoding still is additionally needed but certainly it's best always to make already the, the most programmed and only the, the least manual intervention because each manual intervention takes time and of money. GCC. So I would not be surprised if this is either ISL um, or expansion of macro versus this. This is actually ignore something. So um, this is apparently not really what I was. Hmm, strange stuff. Not really what I was expecting, but this is a uh, not full rebuild. This is a problem always with this Frankenstein builds of just rebuilding some packages and usually some shit happens unfortunately due to all the dependency hell that, that is a multitude of open source dependency libraries and uh, also yeah, Audacity. Actually it looks like Audacity. Mm. Anyway, yeah, so much to build, test and stuff. Anyway, um, Apparently it's very depending on compiler flex. You can usually run super H4 code on SH3 if say code is not using the extended flow and DSP instructions here. Um, many of those architectures also, as MIPS certainly, Spark, ARM, but certainly MIPS the most and ARM the most, they are usually a little bit with compiler flex and stuff. It's always a little bit like, yeah, needs this specific stuff and not the other. So, but this is also the stuff that I mean that should be fully scripted in T2 so that you have a configuration and all those very specific stuff that you would not even come to your mind and that this is hard coded here and 
configured to be a reasonable configuration that has some chance to actually work. So yeah, didn't really finish what I wanted to finish because yeah, firmware bug there of, oh, this is also, yeah, this is this why, why I touched this log files on the other build, not wanting to Um, this is mostly, this also yeah, needs to be speaking about hard-coded stuff. This is other stuff that should be controlled by the configure stuff to only enable. For example, this lib CXX is mostly if you're not using GCC, I only, yeah, for this testing and testing and enablement, I did this previous live stream, usual ceiling, GNU-less, GCC-less system, and now I have this random build glitches of here. Eventually we should do this, but no. Nah, not the most important. So yeah, um, also need to answer some other commercial customers of ours. Probably that's it for today. Um, don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Again, we have this main channel of more main videos, this more live channel for more random live stuff. In case you want to subscribe on some of those and give it a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Um, I wait for this build and continue with more professional stuff like sending some invoices and some other business maintenance stuff and um, fun stuff like that. And um, yeah, hope to see you soon for all this fun and live stuff to come. Also more comments. Which shell are you using by the way? Try dash for a while, a little less plotted than bash. Yeah, mostly use bash actually. Um, not really too picky about that. Um, bash is fine to me, but yeah, soon also here to this channel. Um, also fun ideas. There is someone started because I mean certainly this shell stuff also becomes slower and slower with all the bloat. And we at T2 certainly make huge, huge out, uh, use out of this. And in previous video here on this or the other main channel, we started just in time compiler, just a tiny little proof of concept to show you how this works in principle. And so my dream is not only some Lua-like and C-like just in time compiled language here soon on this channel. But what would also be really cool would be uh, just in time compiled shell stuff to speed all this stuff up. And someone else had the idea. Um, I found Googling this the other way, quick shell bash compatible, but not yet much to see. This is last commit three years ago. Um, if you were wondering, um, yeah, there's so much cool stuff you could do, which nobody pays you for. And even if you do it and open source it and everyone is using it like a new amazing just in time compiled shell, then yeah, nobody pays you for that either. Anyway, that's why you probably want to share, like, and subscribe, support me on Patreon. And um, yeah, sometime soon, as I did this RISC V and MIPS and super tiny JIT thing, soon we will expand this to some C, of course not, this is a huge project. So initial, like, initial enablement, like some tiny C subset of small hello world, and some Lua-like, because that's what we are using here a lot, Lua-like language. This is just in time compiled stuff and maybe a shell so like having some, a handful of proof of concept projects for you to learn something and us to bootstrap this. And then of course with a microkernel. So maybe eventually in a year or two own microkernel, own C and C++ library, most minimal just in time compiled subset with an own JIT shell and JIT library and JIT C. Maybe we build totally innovative systems here in a year or two, certainly eventually with the decades to come here on this channel. With this, yeah, some stuff compiling, um, probably I need to do a full bootstrap. This is actually what I had the horizon for. Pity that it just crashed away there. So hope to see you soon for all the continuation of this fun stuff to come. And I hope you learn something. And just when we want to end, what do you think about BetterFS? Yeah, I'm using BetterFS. I, I like it quite a lot, although many people don't like it. For me, it makes no sense to go SetFS. Uh, BetterFS, quite fine for me. The feature set, um, and I'm, I'm using it on this portable SSD, although probably shouldn't touch it too much. Not that this SSD is the next thing that fails on me. Um, but also using it on some server testings. I have few problems except maybe the slowdown. I need to check. I think this data center thing could maybe run on better FS probably. Um, 
which um, yeah, sub volume. So this is better if as with do we not run with compression? Apparently not. It looks. Usually I try, yeah, we were not running without compression, yeah. Um, probably, I mean, this Xeon, either this Xeon data center thing wasn't that bad when I started using it like five, six years ago. Um, not really sure if mitigations or just fragmentation of this file system stuff regressed so much or if just the software became so bloated that it now is that much slower. But yeah, of, of certainly five, six years half a decade of bloat, even in GCC, GLibc, Linux kernel and stuff, certainly not helping the cause here of having a snappy system of that sort. And um, yeah, BetterFS for me, it makes no sense to do ZFS because um, it's just too alien. Um, even for me, I would, I said this before, it's the same with a microkernel, one address based stuff, not amazing. And I would even with BetterFS, um, for me, it's okay. Um, I usually run it with LSAT O compression also here on this external, here even with encryption, full disk encryption loops and stuff. What I don't like with ZFS, it's mixing too much stuff in one address space thing. So I prefer more, although it also has its issues here live on this channel with LVM, previously uh, LVM write recovery. It, from, in my opinion, better if it would not even need to have write. I would much prefer like one solid file system and the write stuff separated. I don't see much point. For me, this is, it's, it's hilarious, the complexity. It's no wonder that ZFS and BetterFS are somewhat a little bit more buggy because of all the feature bloat. Um, in my opinion, file system should be file system and some logical volume layer should be a logical volume layer. But maybe I'm just old fashioned. But leave me in the comments below what you think. That's it really it now for today. Um, just showing you some daily IT work and how long everything takes, especially if you Ryzen crashes away, do we still have, um, did I close this terminal already? Probably. So yeah, just another episode of how long does all this testing take? Also, I'm slightly curious if, yeah, needs more testing. Also, I need to actually fix, slightly wonder if we, this was glib, um, do we, Build. Oh, this is actually right now the cross stage of this stuff. Um, the, another thing I really need to fix because if I don't fix it, then other people usually struggle much more with it. Is um, because this kind of stuff is always a little bit special and stuff. And then um, if it's already for me annoying, then for other people it's like t two or three times annoying. And then people also on the T2 mailing list, like they say, hey, here's a problem and YOLO, or whatever. And so, yeah, I should certainly fix this. The problem with glib is only this Mason stuff is passing there this dash L library pass argument so that it's linking in the, it has like absolute passes of slash lib. So it's trying to link in system libraries, which of course fails. It's causing this symbol, um, symbol clash there of incompatibilities of linking new glibc stuff with old glibc stuff certainly doesn't work that way, unfortunately, anyway. So yeah, I also need to actually work around this some way because otherwise I get for weeks and months um, not only mailing mails, but also disappointed people who try to too, like Christian and then it doesn't work, certainly not amazing. Um, so yeah, that's it for today. And I hope to see you soon for the next fun stuff to come. And yeah, this just fails also Mason. Um, so much to Mason version, yeah, uh, fun modern stuff.